and today I am going to be filming a video that's kind of trending right now and it's basically called try to make slime without looking at ingredients like instructions so basically I went to the store and I bought a lot of products that I know that are used for slime like clear glue white glue food coloring well Actually, I couldn't find any food color. That's tragic. Baking soda, contact solution, dish soap, laundry detergent, all of those things. And I was like, I'm just going to throw it all in and see what it makes. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoy it, give it a big old thumbs up. And that will let me know if I should make a real slime video where I actually follow the instructions and make some dope slime for y'all today. Well, not today, but later on. I kind of have a cold, so let's get to the video. So I just started off with a clear cup and I didn't really know what type of slime I was going to make. So I just grabbed some clear glue. You can find it at any store. I then took some embroider embossing glitter and some glittery nail polish. Like I said, I don't really know what I was trying to make. Add some baking soda in there. Pour that glue in that cup. <laughs> I then literally just mixed in all of those ingredients together with the glue. I was thinking about adding some warm water, but I didn't really think that I would need to do it for this particular slime, whatever I was attempting to make. I don't think that my embossing glitter is meant for slime, but I just put it in there and I stirred it up and this is what I got. So I resulted in some very gloopy, watery mixture that didn't turn out, so we're gonna try a different one. So for this attempt, I was going for a fluffy white shaving cream type slime, so I went straight in with my white glue. This is Elmer's glue that you can get at any craft store. I added a little bit of baking soda and some warm water, and then the best part, the shaving cream. I think I sprayed too much, but as you know, this video, I'm supposed to just wing it. So I just did whatever I thought was best. And as you can see in this time lapse, I just added things until I found sort of a consistency, but it didn't work out. So I tried the fluffy slime again, but this time I wanted to add some little foam balls. So like before, I'm just winging it, mixing things together. And at this point, it was actually getting the consistency. But I messed it up when I tried to add the foam balls a little bit. I had to really mix it in and it kind of just turned into like a soup type of thing. So that was a fail. One last attempt, I was really wanting to use the last of my glue and the last of my shaving cream, but turns out I do have actually more. At this point, you can see that the consistency is getting really good, and I actually did better by not using a lot of ingredients because I'm not making a big bowl. I'm just making a little cup. So I poured it out onto my table, and as you can see, it's not really like a slime. It's more of like a really like liquidy type of slime I don't know so I added some more foam balls and then I just played around with it tried to knead it up as best I could it kind of felt like snot so I didn't really want to play with it as much it didn't look like the slime that Karina makes or you know the youtubers <laughs> After two other attempts, I realized that it's impossible. You cannot make slime without the proper instructions, without the proper ingredients. It's literally impossible. So when you make slime, make sure you follow instructions. I hope I can make another video where I actually do follow the instructions so I can have a good slime because this was a fail. So that video, if you could see, was a very, very bad fail i think the only one that actually works was when i put the little balls in and it still was very like mushy it wasn't like those videos that you see i really enjoyed making this video it was fun i'm gonna keep the products that i have i probably need to get more glue because i ran out but i'm gonna keep those products so i can go and make another video thank you for watching if you enjoyed it give it a big old thumbs up make you bleh, make sure you subscribe to my channel thank you for getting me to 300 subs like i said before you guys are the best on the road to 1000 big things popping little things stopping okay had to put some little area in there real fast also make sure you follow my musically every day you guys are 
getting me a hundred more sub followers than I did last night or earlier in the day. And you guys are really good on doing that. So thank you for that. I love you guys so much. See you in my next video. Bye.